ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में आपका स्वागत है ओम शांति वेलकम एवरीवन टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे ट्वेंटी यूज एवरी ट्रेजर इन अ वर्थ वाइल वे एंड बिकम एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ सक्सेस एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज डिवाइन इंटेलेक्ट जो हर बच्चे को गिफ्ट ऑफ डिवाइन इंटेलेक्ट दैट ईच ऑफ यू चिल्ड्रन हैज रिसीव एज अ ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम बाप दादा मैन यू यूज एनीथिंग फॉर अ टैस इट इंक्रीजेस एंड यू एक्सपीरियंस हैप्पीनेस एंड जॉय divinity in every task divinity in every task is the basis of success and now we will be listening to didi all of us are very fortunate baba who is the bestower of blessings we are receiving so many blessings from baba and we are not receiving just ordinary blessings no we are receiving such elevated blessings from baba sometime people say oh you just you are blessed with your age or health but baba baba gives us this special special blessing of divine intellect because intellect is the most special uh, thing the power to decide and power to discern is the most important power in everyone's life so those intell whose intellects are really good very subtle very elevated so baba bless us with this divine intellect so what is divine intellect so however we think if we think in a logic way so that is divine intellect so like if um in in logic form if we give some examples but when baba gives us this divine intellect to baba so baba dada has given this gift this blessing of divine intellect so just use that blessing in every task so what happen when we come in action uh, if we come in interaction so whatever uh, is in our intellect is very ordinary if we give some examples we also give some very logic examples but divine intellect means every action a logic so every time when i talk about something moini didi is saying that moini didi always give the example of brahma baba how brahma baba used to love everybody how brahma baba used to take care of every task so that's how we all have to think deeply so what we have to think deeply is what is actually divine intellect like baba says that i give this blessing of divine intellect to everybody all the children so what how that happen if we have that feeling which is pure elevated so our feeling also influence the intellect so intellect is a way of thinking like mind also think but uh, intellect is also a source of thinking so how we think that should be divine so for that uh we have to have that soul consciousness because soul is a logic this body is logic but the soul means a logic and when we are soul conscious like i am a peaceful soul i am a loveful soul i'm a blissful soul so when we are in that our stage of our eternal sanskars then that stage influence our intellect 
So I just want to explain that what is divine intellect, but when this word comes divine, divinity, and what does it mean? Divine means very elevated, pure. So uh, see what Baba is saying that when you use anything for a task and just use this blessing for the task. So how you should do that, that just go in silence. If every situation comes, just go in silence and emerge your that soul conscious state and then think. Then, then decide, then discern. So that's what Baba is saying. That what will happen then, then when you use anything for a task, it increases, it increases. And what does it mean that if we are using our divine intellect, so how will be our nature that whatever we will decide, so we'll use, decide it with our divine intellect. So we'll be stabilized in our divinity. So we can be stabilized in our divine form. So that's what Baba is saying. When you use anything for a task, it increases. And you experience happiness. You experience joy. So, um, so one is happiness and one is joy. So joy is very like from inside and happiness is mostly like maybe from outside things, but joy is more like inside. So by using divinity, then every task will be like you experience happiness, you experience joy, and divinity in every task is the basis of success. So what kind of success? Sometimes when you succeed in something and you have done it accurately with accurate method, and then you get success and then everyone feels that yes this was success and everyone is like yeah is this success is not just for this soul but we all succeeded in this task so that that kind of success where everyone should feel that success so that is in that divinity it's not mine or uh, yours it's it's all babas baba has given us this and we are using this for everyone so the knowledge should transform to two forms one is wisdom and one is power so knowledge transforms into two forms one is wisdom and one is power so wisdom wise and power so becoming wise and powerful so you all should remember this what you have to remember that that divinity divinity is the is divinity in every task is the basis of success so in this month baba is just giving us all these treasures to use in worthwhile way. So this intellect, this divine intellect, we also use this intellect in worthwhile way. And when we will use it in worthwhile way, the intellect will become divine, will refine, and will get success in every task. So for success, Baba is giving us so many blessings every day. And this is a special blessing that Baba has given us of divine intellect. So we all should use it. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Now we'll revise the Avyak Murli. Om um.
शांति ओम शांति सो द डेट ऑफ द मुरली इज अक्टूबर 18 1971 दीपमाला इज द मेमोरियल ऑफ रोजरी ऑफ द लिविंग दीपक सो इन द सेम वे स्पेशल सोल्स हैव टू बिकम अ लाइट हाउस एंड माइट हाउस विद देयर अवेयर स्टेज ऑफ देयर स्टेज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइट एंड माइट एंड वाइल बीइंग इन वन प्लेस do service everywhere with an attitude of feelings of alokic spiritual service this is called unlimited service you should experience and realize that your subjects and your devotees are especially remembering you on the day of this memorial those who have temporary occult powers are able to be in one place and grant a vision of their form of their devotees so can you special souls not give an experience of your service through your light and might to your subjects and devotees so when such days of a special memorial come special souls should have this experience of their special service so did you do such service acha that was in terms of service on the day of dipavali did you have special attention on yourself so today did you pay special attention to transforming the sanskars in you the souls for all time since the memorial of this is not of finishing the old oracles so you souls have definitely done that in practical form and that is and that is why the memorial has continued so on this day on this day did you finish the accounts of even the slightest sanskars of the past or still remaining so before finishing the account you have to check them and you see the result did all of you check your register in this way what do you have to check whatever effort you made until now to what percentage so to what percentage and in which aspect did you become an embodiment of success in that so first of all check the thoughts in your mind and check your register in my effort having completely elevated thoughts to what extent was i victorious through my words to what extent did i give souls the father's introduction and how many souls were able were i was i able to make loving and cooperative so in my words to what i extent was there that spiritual uniqueness and attraction in that spirituality uniqueness and attraction so in my actions to what extent am i able to always be loving and detached a lokic and extraordinary so in my actions to what extent was i karma yogi yog yukt yukti yukt and snehi yukt so in my sanskars and in my form that is in my face to what extent was i attractive loving and cooperative so in the same way as the father by checking your register in this in this way you will be able to finish whatever defects and weaknesses still remain and be able to start the new accounts so check your register in this way and we'll listen to rest of the murli tomorrow om shanti